Hi everyone, this is Eli over at Medicine Talk Pro, and in this video I'm going to show you the seven minute quick newsletter. This is using the older editor, or otherwise known as the second generation editor, which you can still have access to if when you signed up to Constant Contact that's the product that was available to you. And if they've changed you to the new editor, you can do one of two things. You can call them up and ask them to change you back to the old editor, or you can associate your account with our partner account and get access to it. I would encourage you to watch the first video in this series using the new editor so that you understand the difference between the two ways to build your newsletter, because if the day comes when you no longer have access to what I'm getting ready to show you, you may be very disgruntled. I know I was, and that's how I had to figure out how to get it back, which I did. So I'm going to log in here, and I'm going to click Create. So I've set up my contacts. I have my settings all set up, right, as far as my address and my reply to address and all that stuff. So really I'm just in the business now of trying to get my first newsletter done the quick and easy way. So I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to click email. Now I'm going to show you here that there's something on the top called view legacy templates. So you unless you call constant contact and say I'd like you to switch me back to the old editor if you had it right if you're brand new you can't get this unless you come in under our partner system you still pay constant contact all that stuff is the same they just associate your account with ours so that we can give you this older uh, template and i'm going to show you now that you click here view legacy template that's going to open up a different set of templates that you can have access to. And I'm just going to pick this basic newsletter right here. So it's the second row currently, last one to the right. I'm going to click that, and it's going to open up the email so that I can actually design it. And this looks different, right? But that's OK, because then I'll show you what to do. This is the same as building your newsletter in the new editor as far as once you get it set up, then you can simply copy it the next month and save a lot of time on the formatting the different parts. But the reason why this is so good for us and for you uh, is that you can use HTML code we send you for a really quick build. But let's start at the top and be systematic. So up here, is the name of the campaign. Only you see that. So I'm going to call this January News 2018. Click out of it and it's named. Now it'll be in your list and you'll be able to uh, quickly navigate to it. Here in the header, you just hover and this lets you change things like your subject. Here, so the subject is January news 2018. Pre-header text is those are those few words that come right after the subject of an email. So let's call this uh, headache natural way, whatever you want to say. I'm just making stuff up at this moment. From that could be your name, your company, your from email address and use the from email address as the reply to email address. It cuts down on spam. If you want to include social share links, you can. I'm going to click OK, because we can also put those social links in the email. So now I've got my top done. Here is your pre-header. So we can say whatever we want here. 2018 be a good year and then you hit save right here in the top of the box 
here's where you put your company logo or your clinic logo or your personal logo. So I just clicked on it. And there's a little drop down box here where I can change it. And in my library, I have this header here. So I'm going to hope, sorry, click on it and then click insert. It's not quite big enough for me. So I can fit to the block. Nope, sorry. I changed a little bit here. Just open that up like that. Click insert. Now it's bigger. I'll hit save. Now, this first area right here is where you can rename this whatever you want. So we'll call this January News. You can center it. You can do whatever you want here. And then all you have to do next month is you'll see, you just change it. Maybe here's where you put an announcement for classes you're having or specials you have, a new practitioner, right? Sale you may be having, etc. It's like announcements. Visit our website if you click in there. You can put a URL in there, and that's this link right here. You can insert a link, and then ours is already in there, so you would put yours in there. It, it may already populate because you have set up the settings in your account, and so it may bring it in automatically. You can change what it looks like, the color of it. So the cell color, you can change it. Let's make it you know, something prettier. I'll make it green. And I'll hit save. Now, here's where the benefits of using this older style, style editor really come in. So I'm going to come over here. I'm actually going to delete this because I don't want that, and I don't want that header there. So I'm just hovering and deleting. What I do want is to come up here to blocks, right here, and I want to choose an article right here off the left, and I want to drag it over here. I'm gonna put it under that divider line, see how that divider line is flipping back and forth. I'm going to drop it there. Now, I'm going to go to the email that had my HTML code right here. And these are files that come attached to an email you get every month. So you get the HTML code. It says HTML code March 18th and that month will change .txt. So you have that. You also have the individual articles as text files. And the people who are using the new editor need those files, but you want this code. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, right? In fact, I'll do edit, select all, copy, and I'll go back over to, cons to, to this uh, my newsletter I'm building. I'm going to click in that article, and there's this little button right here that says HTML. I'm going to click that and it's going to open up a box. And right in here, I'm going to delete all of that. And then I'm going to paste what I had. Now I need to delete that at the bottom. I'm going to fix the file. <laughs> then I hit update. And now what you're going to see is that instead of having to build this block by block, it's going to paste in the entire formatted newsletter, just like that. Now, if you are one who's trying to break your information up and send it out like piece by piece. So maybe you're going to send 
green tea and the recipe out or you're just going to send out this feature article and then next week send something else out. All you have to do at this point in this editor right here is delete what you don't want. But let and then then you would hit save in the box. But let's say that you actually are going to just send the whole article out like this. The only thing I would re I recommend that you do is you just look at the spacing. And the reason I say this is because in constant contact, and this has always been the case, sometimes the spacing does not work well. And it doesn't have anything to do with our coding. It has to do with uh, how constant contact reads what we've done. So if you want to put spaces there, you can. I think it looks fine otherwise. I'll keep going. I'll just put a space here. Just wherever I think that there should be a space. Okay. And this is intermittent fasting, and we're pretty much done there. The only other thing that I would suggest that you consider doing is maybe customizing in the articles with your own name. So let me give you a, an example here. At the end of PCOS, it says speak with a holistic practitioner. I would suggest you change that to say speak with Dr. White at your next visit right, about the approach is best suited. That way it gives some customizing for you in your article. And then I would click save and that's done. And if you want to put a coupon in, maybe you have a sale or something like that, you could put a coupon in. Maybe you have some type of announcements that you'd like to make so you can drop that in whatever right so it's really whatever you want to add to it or take away from it that's that's important now if you're going to paste your newsletter online you need to put the image attribution somewhere in the newsletter and so that's easy you just Pick up an article over here, you can drop it in at the bottom of the newsletter and you can click in there to edit it and we'll just call this image attributions right there. And then in the email that you get every month from us, we have a link right in the email over to this website where we put the image attributions. And I'll open it up for you. I have it bookmarked, but it does come in your email. Sorry, my computer just is having a bit of some trouble here. All right, so here's the image attribution site that you have this link. It'll take you right here with the list, and then you can simply just copy these attributions into the bottom here of your email. Now, I like to open up a WordPad document or Notepad and paste it in here like this. Etc. So I would grab them all and do that and then copy this. Now, if you do it like that, then you will pick you won't pick up any formatting and when you paste it in you don't need to do any changing. And I would make this smaller so it's 10 point. I would do 9 point. And I would probably change it to not black, but maybe a dark gray. And hit save when you're done. This way you're protected. So you can use the images we buy. You can't resell them to anybody. And you have to give credit to those images. So that's how that works. So there's the image attributions, there's the code for the newsletter, quick and easy. I showed you how to change the top information, how to put in any announcements, coupons. So at this point, I'm going to hit continue. At any point you can save 
can exit and come back and work on it. So let's continue just so I can show you the rest of it here. This takes you to the sending screen. They give you a suggestion of what's the best time. You can send it now, you can schedule it later. Um, but before you do any of that, you need to add it to an email list. So um, I'm gonna take my monthly news. And the first video shows you how to set up those lists and add your contacts. So I've chosen my list. Everything's good here. I don't need to change anything. I'm going to send it now. Um, the early results come to me there. If you have Google Analytics set up, you can give that a click. And then if you have a campaign title, you put it in there. And mine was send now, but you actually hit the schedule button and it says it's ready to launch. I'm done. Now, as promised, I want to show you how next month you don't have to do a lot of that setup. So that was assuming that we just built your first newsletter ever. It's going to take just a second for that to actually show sent. Okay, we don't have to wait for it to show sent, actually. So what you do when you're ready to do the next month's newsletter is you log in, you click on campaigns, the most recent one you sent will, should, will be either last month's newsletter unless you're doing more communicating with your patients or clients, um, but I'd find the last newsletter that you did, or this one that we just did, and click copy. It's going to open up a box here. First thing you want to do up here at the top is click in there and get rid of copy of, right? And then we'll change it to say another month. So let's say it's June, just click out of that box. Now what you'll notice is that everything you did is there. So really all we're going to do is change the HTML code and the image attributions, update any information here that you already have boxes for and you're done. So first I'm going to click here in the header options because this is not January, June. And whatever the pre-header text is, you can put it in there. Then click OK. Then you would come change your headline, right? It's not January, it's June. And I, I would actually put a year in there even though I didn't do that in the first one because Hopefully you're doing this and you're going to keep doing this for long, for many years to come. Put in whatever information you want there. The visit our website's already set up. Here was, I don't remember what we put there, but uh, you can put something there. You can delete it. And in this editor, you delete by clicking that X. There's your coupon, which you can save for this month or you know change for this month. Here's the newsletter so I'm going to click in that box I'm going to go to HTML I'm going to select everything in here I'm going to delete it I'm going to go get my code that I just got sent I'm going to select everything there and copy it come back to my newsletter box just right there, and paste that, update, and it's going to bring in that addition. Again, I'm going to change the formatting as needed quickly, putting spaces in where there should be spaces, however you want to do that. I'm showing you that really this takes seven minutes or less. And customizing it with my name as a practitioner. I am still connecting with people. And there I've put in all of my spaces. And all I need to do down here, so now is hit save. Scroll back up to the top to get to your save button. I'll hit save. The only thing I need to do down here at the bottom. And sometimes it cuts off the bottom like that, right? 
the way that I have found, I'm glad it did that so I could show you, is to hit save. And sometimes you have to exit. And then come back in to edit it, right? Which you just click on it to edit it. And I don't know why it does that. I've worked in constant contact for a number of years. And it has always uh, done that from time to time. So now I can see the bottom. So I can click in there to update with my new images, right? And again, I use this notepad to strip out the code. And so I'll just come in here and change that. And hit save once I have all my image attribu attributions in there. Just give it a, a one-time look through so that you can make sure you change the title, the header, the date of the newsletter that your coupons are set to expire when they need to that you customize it however you wanted to do that and then when you're done you can just hit continue and it'll take you to your send screen just like before so it's the same as always so that's pretty much it for duplicating, copying the previous month's email to save yourself time, but I do want to mention this. So if you do not have access to the old editor and you would like access to the old editor, it's very easy to have that. So you want to send an email to customer service at medicinetalk.org. I'll put that in here, right? Customer service at medicinehawk.org. So to this email address, you want to send this information. And it needs to say attention, constant contact partner support. And this wording right here, I wish to have my constant contact account username, fill in your username there partnered with Medicine Talk Pro as our solution provider for content marketing. Then you need to provide these three pieces of information. So you put email address colon and then put in your email address, name colon, put in your name, company name colon, put in your company name. If you send that to us, we will forward it to partner support. They'll list you under our account, which gives you access to all the editors we have access to nothing else changes once that happens and it takes them a couple of days to move your account there once that happens we'll send you an email that has the final step which is we tell you exactly if you log into constant contact there's a link you click to say yes i really did want to do this and then it's finalized and then you have the option to use the old editor and the way that you do that is that you log in and when you hit create like you did and you click email there's a little link up here view legacy templates that will show up for you once you're listed as a medicine talk pro partner account so and then you can follow this email right using the one that we suggested which was the second row, the one to the right, the basic newsletter, because you'll have access to it. Otherwise, without that old editor, you don't have access to it. And if you just recently signed up to Constant Contact, they won't give that to you because you, you came in on the new platform. So anyway, that wraps it up. Thanks for joining me. Let us know if you have any questions or need any other help.